Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we will be talking about something quite interesting. I'm not sure if you have seen, but there are some softwares which will allow you to change the brightness of your screen depending on the time of the day. So we will try to do this using Python. So first thing is we import a bunch of modules. So import time, import date time. After that from Astro, import location info and then from astral dot sun import sun and finally import screen brightness control as svc now this one you just do pip install screen brightness control and for this uh, for, uh, you'll have to install pip install astro. So as the name suggests, uh, this one will help you to find the time of the day. And this one will help you to um, control the brightness of your screen. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to check uh, can we actually control the brightness of the screen using Python. So um, SBC, they have a function called get brightness, and you need to pass in the parameter, uh, which is uh, which monitor are you using. So I just have one, so I'll pass in display is equal to zero, and I'll just print it out. Obviously, I need to um, create a variable. So the current brightness, so this is my variable, I'll put it here. And let's print it out. So the current brightness is 80. Okay, so we can find the current brightness. And uh, so what I want to do is I want to set the brightness. Okay, so to set the brightness, so let's say, so right now it's 80, right? So if I want to set the brightness, SBC dot set brightness, and you need to pass in the parameter. So let's uh, dim the brightness. So let's place 20, and the display will be zero because I just have one display. And uh, sometimes it might take some time, so I'll just uh, put in two seconds. So run it again. So you see you, the brightness has actually decreased, and now it's showing 20. Now let's just increase the brightness again because you know I want you to see the video. Now set brightness is one way of just uh, quickly changing the brightness. Another way of a uh, smoother way is fade brightness. So here what we can do is uh, we can actually say we want the brightness to turn to 20 and we can actually increment this brightness so change it in increments of 10. All right. um, okay let's uh, run it again so you see this time it uh, changed the brightness to 20 again but uh, in increments so we'll use fade bright brightness and uh, just increase the brightness back up again okay there you go so we can find the current brightness, we can change the brightness. So what now we need to do is we need to find out when the sun will rise and when the sun will set. Based on that, we will uh, our script will automatically change the brightness of our screen. So first thing to do is create a variable called format. And this one will have the hour, the month, and second. Okay. After that, we create a variable called city and we take location info the class it will take a bunch of information so here you can see there's already some uh, default values so just for an example i'll use london now obviously you have to pass in the like information about where you're living i'll just use london as an example the region would be england and uh, what else do we have to pass okay we have to pass in the time zone so the time zone here, uh, in this case, will be Europe slash London. And we also need to pass in a couple of more information, such as the latitude. Now, this you can find from Google. So the latitude for London is 51.5, and the longitude, and that is negative 0.16. Okay, so this is our city information. And then we create a variable called s, so sun. Uh, the function sun will take a bunch of parameters as well. So first one is city.observer. 
So observer is a property of city, which we created here. And then we will have to pass the date. So the date today is uh, date time dot date. Date time has a function called date. So you just pass in today's date. So today is 2022, uh, 9th September. So I'm just passing that information. And we also have to pass in the time zone information. Um, so city dot time zone. Okay. So now we have our sun, uh, we have our variable s with all the information. Now this variable s will actually return a dictionary and we want to print it out. So we create a variable called sunrise. So s, the keyword here is sunrise. And we also want to uh, format it using stref time. And we just pass in format. And we can get sunset as well. So s, the keyword, as you can imagine, is sunset. And we will again. Um, format it using strap time. Okay, now we can print out the sunrise and we can print out the sunset information. And we also need the current time, so we need to know what time is right now. So, date time dot date time dot now. We use a now function and then we also uh, use strap time to format it. We need to format it because we, we want to actually compare the current time to the sunrise and sunset so that we know if we need to increase or decrease the brightness. Okay. And another thing is uh, this uh, strap time is returning a string and we can compare the strings directly because they have the same format. This should work. I'll also print out the current time. Okay. So now we know the sunrise information, the sunset information, and the current time. All we have to do is create the, uh, our condition. So if the current time is greater than the sunrise, and the current time is less than the sunset, okay? If this is the case, what do we want to do? We actually just uh, move all this code here, okay? And we want to increase the brightness all the way to 100. Okay, and then we print out the information to make sure that it has actually increased all the way to 100. Else if, um, if the sun, if the current time is lesser than the sunrise, or if the current time is greater than the sunset, which means it's very early or very late, in that case, you want to just decrease it all the way. Uh, so here, so obviously not 100 to 20. And we also want to print out the, um, the brightness after you've changed the brightness. So let me just run it, see if everything is working fine. And yes, it is working fine. So as you can see here, the sunrise information, uh, maybe I should have actually, um, Wait. Sunrise. I'll use an F string to um, make it easier for you guys to know which information corresponds to which. And make sure that the variables are inside the curly brackets. Okay. Uh, the current time. Colon curly brackets, comma. Okay, one one more time. All right. So you can see the sunrise will happen at six thirty. The sunset will happen at at seven twenty one. And the current time um, is um, twelve uh, seven uh, twelve seventeen. Okay. So obviously it's um, quite late. So you want the screen to dim down. And if the current time was actually like uh, within sunrise and sunset time, it would brighten up to 100. Now let's go through the whole code one more time. So what happened here is we created a format variable to format our time, hour, month, and second. And then we have a location info class. We pass in some information like where we are at, uh, the name, the time zone, the longitude, and the latitude. And then we pass this information into the sun 
function. The sum function will take the observer, uh, the date, and the time zone. After that, it will, uh, it will uh, return a dictionary, which will give us a sunrise, a sunset information. We will also find the current time using uh, the now function of date time. And then what we will do is if the uh, current time is greater than sunrise or lesser than sunset, we will increase the brightness using fade brightness and increment it at uh, 10. Obviously, if you have more than one screen uh, in the display, you can, instead of putting zero, you can put one if you have another screen. And to display it, what the brightness is, you can use get brightness. Uh, you can use the get brightness function and pass in the parameter and it should work. So, and of course, if the current time is less than the sunrise or greater than the sunset, in that case, just dim it down. So, and you can just use a while loop to just keep running it in the background. That way, this script will help you to increase or decrease the brightness of your screen. So I think this uh, piece of code is quite useful. Uh, let me know how you guys, um, what you guys think about it. And uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Please uh, uh, su uh, subscribe to my channel uh, to support it and uh, like and share the video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.